down here in the field of IRA, one of our great local teams here, team number 1720 out of Indiana. Uh, Indiana State uh, finalists this year, so an absolutely fantastic team. And we're going to talk more about their robot here on Behind the Bumpers. I'm here with Kaylee, Cole, Caleb, and Anthony. And we've got some cool features to talk about. Uh, obviously, ridiculously huge intake. Uh, these giant arms, which I'm sure we'll learn more about. Cool hatch mechanism, uh, climber, and more here on Behind the Bumpers. Uh, so I want to start out with here, I think, the giant googly eyes that we'll get in frame in just a second and big, and big intake. Who's going to be talking about that? Back here, all right. Okay, so we uh, started out with the intake with just two bars and rollers going across from him, and we picked it up, and it worked perfectly the first time. So we just kept on iterating that. This is the 10th iteration you see here. And so now, let me get the controls going. And so now you can see it come out all the way, come back up to the rocket height, and that height is exactly the height of the first level of the rocket, so we can just spit it in from there. And then the cargo ship, and this can shoot it into the cargo ship from a distance, from like a foot away. So that's how the cargo intake works. Very cool stuff. Uh, and by the way, the googly eyes, uh, is that a, just an aesthetic choice or what's the strategic decision behind that? Oh, our name, our, our robot is called Space Walrus, so we had to have eyes for it. So that's very, where they came. Very appropriate, absolutely. So uh, moving on here, we have uh, this uh, front uh, mechanism and it almost looks like a wheelie bar to me a little bit. So who's going to be talking about that? All right. So this is actually how we climb or part of how we climb for our level two. We just bring these bars down just like this and then we use these to prop ourselves up on that first level and then i lift the bars up and he drives right up onto the ramp it is also how we do our level three climb but with that we have to use pneumatics well, I think that's a good segue right there, right? Let's talk about pneumatics a little bit on your robot. So what's going on with these huge uh, cylinders you have on your machine? So we originally started with just one cylinder, but that turned out not to be enough. So we switched to two different cylinders, and we actually have two different systems to operate it. One, one system goes to one cylinder, the other goes to the other. And we actually use a three-position solenoid, which allows us to push air to the top, allows us to push air to the bottom, and we can also just stop it wherever we want it to. And wrapping up here, uh, we're going to talk about the hatch intake on the other side. So, Cole, have you come around here? Uh, give us a little bit of lowdown. What's going on with your hatch intake? Uh, so, the hatch intake will has three positions: the lowest position, the middle position, and the top position. And each of those three positions line up um, with the inside of a hatch panel and where it needs to be placed and where it needs to come out of the feeder. Um, we can't pick it up off the ground, but this little chip right here um, will go inside and clip onto the hatch panel and we can come off a of level two and it doesn't let go. So two last things I want to talk about. One here at IRI specifically is you guys have been uh, turning to a lot of defense here at IRI and been extremely effective. Uh, so what's been the decision to make that change and how have you been standing out the teams here? Well, we know we aren't a very high score because we can only do the low level stuff. So in between Worlds and IRI, we decided to switch our drivetrain to three Neos on each side. So we have more power so we can push robots around more. Very cool. And wrapping up here, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention to give Sean a free plug here uh, for the incredible Bad Hawks that uh, if you've seen, if you watch fun ever, you've seen these before. Uh, Bad Hawks, absolutely incredible. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about this? Because your team actually makes these, actually. Yes, we actually make these, and this helps sponsor us. But these are battery monitors. You plug them into the battery. I don't know if we have some. We have some over there. Plugged. See if we can grab one over here. So these will actually tell us how good our batteries are. Just oh, like so. And then this is how we know which batteries to pick and which ones not to pick. Because if a number is really low, we will not pick it. But if it is about this and roughly around here, this is a pretty good battery. But this is how we know what to do. So something I mentioned, if you haven't heard on fun, guys, there are thousands of first teams that are using this. If you have not picked up a Bad Hawk yet, by the way, make sure you get one. They are, uh, you can find them on Animark. Absolutely incredible. 1720, what a great team and a great machine. Guys, thanks for taking the time to speak with us about your robot and, of course, the incredible Bad Hawks. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.
You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. 